Okay, now it's time to go in and it's time to you to be surprised what we're going to see there. Yeah, the way floor plan is organized, the features, each room and the access of each room and the size of each room. Uh, and you will see that everything has been kept as it in floor plan since the house has been built. Okay, so while I'm here showing you, know, there is a door access here goes to the kitchen area and there is a door goes down there as well. So the house is connected. So in my plan is we can start from the access here, then see what we have go there and then we go out from the kitchen and go to the second floor. So this is the plan. Let's go and see what we are going to see inside. First of all, look at the small windows, beautiful one, frosted one but nice one you always can you always can put a proper glass here not the frosted one because it's a room there anyway but let's go and have a look this is few steps here which are quite good not that much low and the beautiful door you know and I've been impressed by the handles really nice it's easy to find them as far as understood but I like the shape and the style so let's go and have a look inside so we are in one of the most traditional and one of the most kept traditional house really good some work has been done on the beams like some being painted like some being taken off the and being shown their natural color let's go and have a look so this is a corridor as a hallway as you can see the ceilings are to be honest for the ground floor are quite high which is good it's about another foot above my head which is really really good i'm not so tall but roughly i'm in a position to be like a proper standard measure for lower ceilings and proper ceilings and high ceilings so let me show you now this is the should be the lights with all these bulbs holes it's very low here but i like it it's not connected yet but it's going to be connected so anyway this is the door we just came into nice and wide corridor look at the beams all the beams are natural and as i said some of them been showing the natural color because the paint has been taken off but you can see no any rotten stuff everything looks completely good even if it's more than i can say nearly 70 80 years old look at this beautiful one clean one natural color oh this is proper oak beam you can feel the strongness of this and thickness when you put it look at that one as well with the lights on it um nice one and here you get all this all over the wall which is supporting one and you should have some beams here as well so somewhere here you know it's a thick like a thick stone wall i think so from this side we got this beam which is you can see how the beams continue all this way from here up to up to here you got some down here you got some down there you got some down there and some down there so all this is supporting beam and the way it's been done it's really really good now i'll show it goes to the very end building the wall like the one the other side as well so it's one long beam i really really enjoyed look at the original one here look at the doors all being original strong oak beams strong oak material a lovely door with a lovely handle you know with a nice key original one nice stone features laminated floor which is the only thing which is modern here but uh, it was easy and quick to be done but anyone wants they can put and cover with a proper wooden floor this is just a decision of the owner you know and here you can have a look and see few steps which being lead to a small door wonderful small door the door is looks like a confession room door i can say from my experience what i did see the doors of the confessions room so you can see the confession door and you can see one two three four five six seven nice steps 
which is leading to this wooden cover and this one is leading to a room upstairs but there is another access to the room upstairs and we'll go there later <clears throat> i like the photo of this Anan. i like this Anan. so she keeps some some secrets or she just tell with this shh us keep quiet and just goes around and enjoy the house please don't talk you know but she knows that i i will break the rules she wants to put me and i'll talk because this property needs to be shown but it needs to be talk what you're going to show again quick look of the beams a beautiful one the style the white corridor and let's go and have a look to see what we have here oh my god look at the stones this is what i did show you outside the rough the rough shape of the stones these stones never has been touched with the tools with the hand tools with the builders they've just been taken from the ground from the river from where they took, took it and just been put for the wall you can see the rough shapes of each one and it's made amazing work you know amazing work look at all these beams building look at all these features wonderful look at the thickness of the wall and the built-in shelves wonderful building shelves look at the dragon look at me <laughs> has eyes on his body beautiful stonework i really impressed to show you this because not many now not even any now i think being done this way the rough stones straight walls amazing really really nice and the steps here you can see them with the confession door there look at the door natural color from this side really good one perfect i know i will spend time here but it's need to be shown the beam strongness as well the beam strongness here with all these constructions and again the walls you can't have more rough straight walls than it is this one beautiful one the small windows which i just said that you can change the glass and the walls good condition a nice 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 chimney yeah with a small fireplace with a stove in it beautiful <laughs> oh really amazed me this this is really nice job has been done here as i mentioned to you all the features like the old building cupboards everything have a look at this room nice bedroom nice office or ever, whatever you want for me it's very relaxing here so you can even work here, to be honest. So go back to the corridor, the door we came into, the room, the confession door, place, the shh, none with the rules, the way you need to see the property. Now we got one step and we go to a stone floor premise, which I can call the main living area of the house. And the way it's been done, it's nice that it's been kept this wall, with the bricks wonderful and if it's work out in this way for people they can keep it as it is because it's a really really nice feature and i want to show you all the rest so all these building built-in cupboards has been here you can see this nice oak shelf beautiful one amazing one with the beams above everything is in a perfect condition just being looked after nothing has been changed as you can see nothing has been changed something has been added but nothing has been changed look at this i need to show it closer because it's really good work has been done 70 80 years ago look at this the thickness the strongness the, sh the rough shape of the of the timbers you know really good and this being stones which been been done later that's why i saying this being just added to make the feature much more interesting with a 
look at the stone seals perfect job perfect really good decision of the owner to make a frame like this with the flux stones but a rough flux stones they look very rough you know they don't look like they've been done for this so they've been taken from a place natural and then been put here beautiful beautiful job has been done and again go back to the ceiling you can see all the originals structurally strong the shape everything really really beautiful i like all this with the brick walls the window here beautiful with the lighting you can go light there and light here look at the beams from closer perfect really good job has been done really good job all the natural doors with the old handles i like this and the stone flag stone tiles for this has been redone you can see but this is which something being added to the floor and back to the original one because it used to be a stone floor i'm sure you know beautiful space let's go and have a look this room premise let's say with another nice handle and the rough stones look at the rough stones put attention to you this time and it makes us the way it looks it looks rough but it looks straight at the same time beautiful so this one obviously has been added later the decision of the owner to put these stone tiles on them on the seals here and finish this way the frame it beautiful one good decision i can say and this is a type of a like a fireplace but it's just a just a place you it's not work at the moment you always can connect it with the chimney but it's closed now but i like the way it's being done yes and you can see a nice building feature good job all beams there yeah this one is being done put later i think but this one is the original one so some stuff being added but nothing has been removed this is what i said a nice stone tiles as well floor tiles here again we'll put attention on the beams the head is not bad a bit lower than the corridor but it's still good and it's the feature of the house and the windows you can keep them good double windows just need to look after them paint them on time even this with outside which are uh, under the sun uh, light mostly so they need to be looked after two or three times a year otherwise you'll have them forever and it's with the with the um, air gap between them this is the best insulation beautiful one if i have a seat on this chair i won't be able to stand up so i won't be sitting there look at this look at this look at this head of a face of a man built in the in the beams oh my god i like this i just found it oh a lot of stuff small features and stuff you can't miss them you can't miss them so now back here if you want i can tell you something which people take they can tell that it's against uh, against the nature against of the uh, masterpiece work has been done in the house but you can remove these walls here and just keep the beams and make it one open plan living area beautiful living area and still can keep it the same way and keep it as a living area if you want just depend on you this is just a quick idea so we came from there the corridor we saw the room with the confession door we saw we call office room so we, we came through this and we saw this living room we call it living room now we go behind this door and we go to another small corridor with a bit more than tiles but this was uh, something which has been built later to the next to the main house and being connected it's a simple toilet and bathroom all connected to the soakway septic tank shower and boiler you can see the own has new tiles for the floors plus a new window but um yeah she needs because the life changes and she needs to to go back to uh, scotland to do some job there for her and help give a hand to her daughter that's why he's going to leave and if the people wants they can make it all this tile length of floor but in my opinion this open and this condition of the bathroom gives people to make their own choice how to organize because the bathroom is something which is really um, 
really, I can say even the word saint for people, you know, place, you know, a very private place. So this is better to be as it is, so people can change. But you get water, you get boiler, you get toilet connected, you get water meter, shower. You can have a look and see. So this one is, is easy to organize, in my opinion. So we came from here, the old part. Then we go to this premise. It's where, look at this kitchen. It's been done many years ago. I like this feature. This round bar, like a Roman Empire column. Beautiful one. And I just can maybe show you from this side. I'll take a bit, remove the sofa. But I want to show you this. Really need to be shown. Beautiful Roman Empire bar. And it's tiled above. I'll keep it the way it is. Maybe just paint the tile in a different color, much more brighter maybe. Yeah, like, or even blue I can make it. I don't know, or pink. I'm crazy. So you got all these old cupboards with a sink. Of course, this is the old kitchen and it's not being changed, but the owner liked the way it is done. And it's work out for her with the oven and stuff, fridge, freezer. But in my opinion, people who are going to buy this house, I will keep this one as a feature. Maybe even keep this one as a feature, just paint it. Change this one, of course, and make a, an, a continue the kitchen this side up to the wall there with another similar countertop with the new cupboards etc washing machine stuff like this you know and make it nice keep these cupboards and ex extend it with the more so it's a beautiful nice place you can make it there a nice kitchen and you can put a dining table somewhere here so this could be the kitchen and diner and it works as a kitchen and diner at the moment so it's really nice room i like this room nice floor Tiles here, but wooden floor here. It's in good condition. You can have a look and see. High ceilings, original doors, double windows. Really good condition, I want to show you. The frames, everything. And my friend Lee confirmed this as well, that the windows should be kept. They're really in a good condition. Not any damages at all from the time frame. Okay, really good. Let's have a look, another look. So the kitchen, behind is the toilet and bathroom, then we go to a corridor where the utility, like utility room at the moment, with this uh, uh, washing machine. Then we got the nice feature living room, office, corridor, confession door with a nun, sh nun, okay? So now here we go out and then we go here with a few steps. One, two, three, four, five, six steps. So we go to a small, veranda area used to be some kind of a railing here i can see the signs of this but it's nice because you can connect this one yeah you can connect this one and you can extend like you can connect this one up to the up to the roof with some kind of a like wall like this one up to the to the you know like like make a door there the door this side and then make the wall with the windows up to here. Then again, wall or windows, because you have a window here, so it's good to have windows here, so you can get some light in it. And then to close this one. And here you can make a, like a built brick wall, one third here, a brick wall, and then a windows again, up to the, up to the roof. So have this, there's a conservatory during the summer you can have a seat here even you know with a balcony there beautiful balcony there look at these doors round way i like these doors beautiful just maybe need to paint to be in a different color let me have a look now here and as far as i remember i'll leave the door open because the light burned here so we have the same corridor like downstairs here okay with the difference that we have more and more room here now, we have one, two, three, four doors and a beautiful wardrobe in front of us. Look at the ceilings, they are high. And as we saw, the roof is in a really good condition. No any signs of a leaks, even no smells of it, nothing. And the property not being painted just before we came. It's been painted a while ago. So you can have a look and see some spiders nets. Otherwise, all the rest is good. A beautiful frames of the doors. And a white, nice white door from here. White corridor with a nice floor, original one. Look at this. 
this is original floor and you can see signs of it yeah nice white oak beams oak like you see this yeah a really good narrow and white as well a really really good beams all these beam, beams it's um boards sorry not beams they're boards i like it just maybe uh, in my opinion it should be light anyway brighter okay so let's go now and have a look to see what we have here here of course we have oh, sorry we a lot of features in the property so i just touch some of them and they make a noise this is a beautiful lovely room with two windows or let's say one and a half window because i was thinking behind the curtains there's another another glass and window but it's not it's just a small part of it very good high ceilings it's which is a, one of the things which amazed me in this property is that downstairs is quite high upstairs is really high for the very traditional bulgarian houses it's not typical most of them are very uh, lower ceilings especially the ground floor but this one here is amazing amazing height look at this again the same proper wooden floors and beautiful windows beautiful windows and it's there where the window finish you can have a look and see a nice small one here really good condition really good condition there's no point to change these windows keep them and use them look after them properly and use them forever let's look at this really good condition etc painting them beautiful and it's face to the garden and it's nice and quiet really nice and quiet you can have a look and see yes now we go just before we go you can see the doors good frame doors they're a bit more later days since the house been built these doors are a bit much more modern but still 50 60 years old okay so we came from here now we go to have a look and see the biggest bedroom this is the biggest bedroom master bedroom with a nice bed and again it can't be other other way but it's i'm amazed from the height of the of the of the ceilings and look at the size of the room really big a lot of traditional houses belongs to not very rich people and only the rich people houses has big rooms this one doesn't look like belongs to very rich people but it's with a really proper 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 ceilings the floors are really good and nice you can have a look and see all these veins of the of the of the boards and look at the chair like it <laughs> beautiful it's go that way and that way really really nice very interesting Again, I will put attention on the windows with a proper gap in a proper condition. They work very good. They make the best insulation of heating in a cold weather. Really, really good. So this bedroom is the second bedroom and we call master bedroom. Now I'm going to show the third premise here and then I will show the fourth premise, of course, and then I will give you my idea because it's going to have a present plan and a project plan because this property gives a lot of flexibility for options with the premises and the way it should be, can be organized. Mm, no light here. Anyway, maybe the bulb burns. So this room is a small one, <clears throat> but still have one, two windows. Look at the thickness of the wall because it's stone wall and you can see where this goes, 60 centimeters, proper windows on north they should be double the, there's a windows missing here this one maybe could be changed but i still think it's good because the wall is thickness is very good and depend what you're going to use this for because now it's like a small room with a single bedroom but in my opinion this one could be one of the good toilets and bathrooms so you can put a frosted glass here and frosted glass here and that's it so you don't need a double double window so let's quick reminder the entrance we came in the master bedroom the first bedroom we saw the smallest bedroom and here we have what behind this room yes the light is on look at this big big premise i'll just close the door but it's very wide 
for compare with most of the paintings we saw and there is a door there of course and there will be another surprise there behind this door but before we go there let's have a look at this premise so this premise is long enough has has window as you can see a proper window and from here this wall up to this wall you can see how tall how long it is so the first option is this one to be converted to a toilet and bathroom so you can keep the room in opposite the smallest room as a bedroom and the other two as a bedrooms as well so you can make a big bathroom with three bedrooms but look at this let's have a look what we have here here we have another door with a two steps and one more needed it's just a temporary one but one more needed so we go here and then we go to a one of the amazing bedrooms i can say look at this room really nice with all these round arches you know this one has been built later it's one of the newest newest buildings of the property but i like the way it's been done and it goes and leads to the beautiful balcony here so if we go this side maybe we can't go from here but we'll go from outside anyway i'm going to show from here you can see the beautiful beautiful balcony face to the garden you can enjoy all the day there all the day i can spend all day here so this room is a bedroom and you have an access from here with a round stairs as you can see these black stairs down there they lead to the balcony and then you can come to this room so if we say this room is a, another bedroom and it could be like a family or guest guest bedroom you know so you've got a separate access from there it's big enough for even four members to sleep here family with the two children couple with the two children so then we can we can put here in my opinion we can convert it this one to bathroom and put a wall here put a wall here build the wall here so from from this part here up this one to be converted to a toilet and bathroom ensuite to this bedroom then then this wall here which has been built this premise here let's go out now back so put the wall there make this ensuite to serve the other this bathroom and the wall from here this premise you can make it to a wardrobe wardrobe place okay and then you have one two bedrooms and then you can convert it this one to a bedroom so this bedroom will serve this bedroom and this bedroom so on this floor here you're going to have two proper bedrooms with a proper toilet and bathroom and a nice wardrobe and another bedroom there with ensuite with an access from outside steps i'll just show you the outside steps from here because we couldn't reach the place there this is the stairs which i mean okay so this is one of the options. The other option is to make this premise to unsuite bathroom to this one with an access here, with an access here. So you can make a door and go to the bathroom there. So this will be unsuite. Then we have bathroom, bedroom with an unsuite toilet and bathroom. Then we put the wall between this built-in cover and the window wall yes close this door open a door here and we'll have a big bedroom with an ensuite toilet and bathroom and then the rest space after the wall will be the toilet and bathroom ensuite for the other bedroom so we can have three bedrooms with three ensuite as well i think this is uh, some kind of a good idea okay let me go out now let me go out now and then i'm going to try to climb the steps there and then i'm going to finish with this beautiful nice steps let's go up there now oh we meet cats here they're just going slowly beautiful one hi look at this beautiful so this is the axis to the bedroom we we discuss and this is a nice place you can enjoy have a seat and enjoy the beautiful garden 
beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. That's it so far.